let's solve for x and x what is a real number first thing we need to do is let's bring this to the other side of the equation so this is plus two if it crosses to the other side it becomes minus two so we have x to the power of six minus x to the power of three minus two is equal to zero now recall the law of indices that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n okay is equal to a to the power of m times n which is equal to a to the power of m n okay let's apply this to this place if we do that that means we can write this as x to the power of what three raised to the power of two okay since three times two will still give us six minus x to the power of three minus two is equal to zero x to the power of three x to the power of three let's assign a an alphabet for it or a variable for it so we say let m equal to x to the power of three so by so doing we substitute m into this equation we'll have that m squared minus m minus two is equal to zero so we need two factors of minus two that when we add them together we are going to get minus one okay which is the word the uh, coefficient of m and those two factors are minus two and what plus one all right because minus two times one will give us minus two and minus two plus one will still give us minus one okay so that means we write this as minus squared minus two m all right plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 then let's factorize by grouping we have m there is m and m m is common here right so we pick one out and m squared divided by m will give us a minus 2m divided by m will give us 2 plus here yeah, they don't have anything in common except 1 so we repeat minus what m minus 2 is equal to 0 so we can solve that m minus 2 all right we have the same thing here so we pick one multiplied by m plus one is equal to what zero so we can now write that m minus two is equal to zero or what m plus one is equal to zero so let's solve for the left hand side we have that our m is equal to this minus two we cross over to become plus two then recall that our m is equal to x to the power of 3, okay? So we have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. Let's take cube roots of both sides of this equation. If we do that, we have that x is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. That is cube root of what? 3. All right. Then for this side, we have that m plus 1 is equal to 0. That means that m is equal to plus 1 we cross to become minus 1. Okay. Now, recall that your m is x to the power of 3. So, we have x to the power of 3 is equal to minus 1. Then, let's bring this minus 1 to this side. It becomes plus 1. is equal to 0, right? Okay. So, we have, we can write this now as x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Since 1 to the power of 3 is still 1, okay? Now, let's recall the algebraic identity a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so in this case in this our case our a is equal to x and our b is equal to y so if we should substitute this into this we will have that x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 is going to give us, is equal to x plus 1, all right, bracketed minus x plus 1 squared will still give us 1. So we can now write that this is equal to 0, right, since this is equal to this. So we have x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now x plus 1 is equal to 0, right? Or x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's solve. When we solve, we have 
that for this side our x is equal to minus one that is for this side then for this side let's check our discriminant first okay let's see if we are going to, since we are told that our x is real is a real number but before that if this is the first time you're coming across my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video also i would like you to watch to the end because we are going to prove that our solution is right okay all right now we have um x squared the discriminant is what b squared minus 4 ac so this is equal to our b is minus 1 minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4.4 4 multiplied by our a is 1 and our c is 1 now when we solve this we are going to get a negative number and for the fact we are going to get a negative number simply means that there are no real roots okay no real roots and since there are no real roots we are not going to use this side we are not going to use this side so this simply means that the real roots of this particular equations equation is this that x is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and x is equal to minus 